Hiker Jay here. This week I'm talking about a new Hydro Flask bottle for 2020. They've come out with a lightweight version. So many of you will use a stainless water bottle, but they're pretty heavy. This one is pretty great. It's a 24 ounce, and I've reviewed the 20 ounce um, versions of all types of water bottles, but um, this is actually lighter being a 24 ounce. It's actually lighter than the 20 ounce. But the question is, is it as durable? Can it stand up like it can to a normal wall? Now it's still stainless steel. It's still 18.8 stainless steel. It's just thinner walled and vacuum sealed. So if this is the first time to my channel, thanks for stopping by. If you'd subscribe, that'd be awesome. But as always, all the stuff that I talk about, all the product links are down below in the description so you can check them out at any time. Now, I really like this 24 ounce. I was kind of bummed that it only came in 24 ounce and 32 ounce um, because I like a small water bottle that's narrow like this that can fit into a cup holder in a car or slide into a, a backpack pocket really easily. So I was a little worried, but the size is great. It's actually a little bit narrower than their standard bottle, um, but it's taller. And I, I wasn't too sure about that either, but the height hasn't bothered me at all. It hasn't fallen, hasn't tipped over, hasn't gone anywhere. So the height is pretty sweet. So I, I really do like the 24 ounce. This has become my go-to over the last week or two that I've been using it. I've thought about going to my other ones, but I'll just wash this one and reuse it all the time because I just like it. Um, now they come in three different colorways. Uh, they have like a, a clay, like a tannish type color, bronzish, all goldish, and they have a silver, and then they have this obsidian. This one's really dark, and I just thought it was really cool and kind of had a coffee feel to it, um, so I went for it. Um, now for 2020, as well as for all their bottles, they've gone to this more flat ridge here, where they used to have this version where it dipped in and then went around. So in this lightweight one, they've continued that with all the new versions of just going flat all the way to the top. It does have your standard cap that's just a screw off and drink from, which you know if you watch any of my other stuff on um, caps, that's not my favorite. Um, but it is a honeycomb and it's insulated and it'll keep it nice and cool. I do like it. You know, it's cut through here for a little bit more weight. Um, and so it's, so it's, it's, it's a nice cap. Um, but when it comes to caps, I tend to use either the straw cap or this one, which is an aftermarket um, knockoff chug style cap, because I really like, if I'm drinking something cold, I want to be able to chug from it. I did a review on this one. Um, that one gets a lot of hits. People really like this cap, so um, you can check that one out. I'll put the, the link up here on the right so you can check out this aftermarket one. But I also like a straw one quite a bit too, but I've cut all my straws to my 20 ounce, so I, I did have used this with it. Works perfectly fine, seals great. Um, I just have to get a longer straw because I already cut this one. Um, so it'll take any cap um, that you want that's a hydro flask cap, as well as some of the aftermarket um, caps too. Now let's really talk about the weight because that's really what this is about. It's a lightweight and you can really feel how much lighter it is, right? It's only just over eight ounces on its own without the cap. And so I thought, why not weigh it against other ones? Now, unfortunately, I only have 20 ounces and this is a 24 ounce, um, but even being that this is a 24 bigger than all these, it's lighter than all of them. You've got your Yeti, which is huge and heavy with its cap on, it's over a pound, um, but these are built to like last forever. You got your Camelback shoot style, um, and this one is uh, several ounces heavier than this one here. And then the one that comes the closest is my 20 ounce without the lid on. Um, it's only like a two or three ounces lighter, or this is only two or three ounces lighter than this one. But regardless, it's bigger, takes, it can hold more beverage, and it's the lightest one out of all the versions of the 20 ounces. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have any 24 ounces to really compare it to. If you're used to using any type of stainless steel water bottle, or even getting into one for using like coffee or tea or anything like that, I'd highly suggest this one. I really like it. It looks nice, it's shiny, it's good for the office, but also for the field. And it's, yes, it's a thinner wall, but I think it's gonna be just fine unless you really dropped it on concrete. Um, then some of these, I'll also would probably be pretty messed up as well. Um, it's a really nice bottle that Hydro Flask could come out for with for uh, 2020. And I think that, you know, what do you think? Do you think other versions like Yeti and Camelback will start coming out with lighter versions too? Because I know they've made them so tough and indestructible, but in the same way, this thing's heavy. Like when I put it in a backpack, it adds a lot of weight. Where this one, this one I would never take backpacking like on a, on a weekend backpacking trip. This one, 
I might because it could keep things really cold, especially when you purify from like a lake in Michigan, like Lake Superior, and it's really cold. You'd have ice cold water. It could be kind of sweet. Or if I make broth a lot, you know, for like tea or anything like that, you can heat up something and it would stay warm in the morning and keep you warm. The only thing that I'm really going to update on this water bottle is the cap. I'll probably use the chug cap quite a bit, um, but I've really adapted to the straw cap. I really like the Hydro Flask straw cap. It still has a ring so you can hold it and carry it, um, but I've kind of converted to these guys, these straw ones, a little bit more. I used to use sip cups and different things, but or chugs. I love to chug caps when it's just ice cold water, um, but these straws are pretty sweet. So I'm going to order another straw so I can cut it to the right size. And uh, I've done reviews on these as well too. I'll put that link up to the actual straw cap up here on the right so you can check that out too. But let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think it's worth going with a lighter version? Um, is it something that's going to become a trend in the water bottle uh, world of things? So till next time, just remember, life's a hike. So hike happy. Take yourself a nice little water bottle. Stay hydrated.